Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of my favorite tips, tricks, and commands to help clean up our CAD drawings, as well as reduce the file size along the way. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy these, and I hope you stick around. Today's video is sponsored by Plex Earth. You can check them out at the link in the description below, and we're gonna take a look at their add-on a little later in the video. Let's jump right in and clean up our drawings. <laughs> All right, so the first tip and command to help clean up your drawings is W block. And that is going to allow you to write or create a block or drawing out of a bunch of selected objects within your drawing. I like to use this to quickly create a block or an XREF to help separate and remove objects from my current drawing that I may use later um, without actually getting rid of them. This is gonna allow you to quickly and easily create XREFs on the fly, and I'm gonna show you how this works. So to start, I'm gonna choose all of my electrical and lighting objects. So to do that, I'm gonna select a few of them here, and then right click and select similar. That's gonna select the rest of the ones that match those properties. I'm gonna grab this switch here and select similar. You can see now I've got all of my electrical and lighting objects selected. Now I simply type in W, so the letter W, and then block. And this is going to write or create a block out of the objects I've selected. So you can choose what you wanna do with the objects after writing them or creating your block. I'm gonna delete all of these objects from my drawing. You can leave the base point at zero, zero. This is gonna keep the same location based on the reference point zero, zero. So if I XREF this, objects back into this drawing, it's gonna show up in the right or same place. Um, you can see the source of what I want to write. You can choose between the entire drawing, that'd be everything in this drawing, a single block, or the selected objects. Now all you need to do is choose a location, and I'm going to add this to an XREF folder here I've got. So I'm going to click these three dots, paste in my path, and hit save, and then I can just call this say xref dash elect or electrical hitting enter is going to leave that dialog box and then hitting ok is going to write my block or create my xref file you can see that all that electrical has been now been removed from my drawing cleaning it up and keeping it clutter free this is also going to reduce drawing size in general by splitting out your drawings into the necessary components and creating an xref for each one then you can simply add and remove XREFs or external references as you need them in your drawing. To add one, simply click the insert tab up top here. You can click this fly out here to open up your XREF uh, manager or palette. And then I'm gonna right click and attach a drawing. Now pasting in that same path that we had before, you'll see that I have my XREF electrical. You can choose to open it. Now you can attach it, and I'm sure you know how to attach an XREF. If not, I've got videos on that as well. Uh, we're going to just keep all of these settings here default, inserting it at zero, zero, and at a scale of one. Doing that's going to place all of our electrical just the same way it was, but it's removed those from our drawing, so they're separate in a new file and not taking up a lot of space in this one. Another tip I'll typically give to newer designers or those looking to reduce file size and load times is to make sure you've cleaned up your external references list here. If you have a ton of extra or unused references, right clicking on them and detaching or even unloading them is going to help clean up your drawing as well as remove a lot of unnecessary links if you're no longer using them. Things like reference images or details can be removed once you've drawn and used them. Uh, getting rid of these is gonna save you uh, load time as your CAD software is not searching to check these references or load them up on opening a drawing. All right, so next up, Maybe you've now removed your electrical or a portion of your drawing, you've cleaned it up a little bit, but you still wanna do a little bit more cleaning. One nice 
command is the layer merge or lay mrg command and that's going to merge two layers together to create one basically you're taking a layer that you choose first and adding it to the layer of the object you choose second and getting rid of the first one so they're all going to be on that second layer this is a great way to clean up your layers list if you've got a ton of layers or say multiple layers that kind of have similar objects and are not necessarily needing to be split out into multiple layers you can see here for instance that i have two different text layers if i switch to the home tab here you can see this uh, label here is on the text data one layer and you can see the rest of these labels are just on the plain text layer so to use the layer merge or lay merge command simply type in l-a-y-m-r-g and hit enter. It's going to ask you to select an object on the layer to merge. So that would be say our white text layer here. We're gonna select a piece of text there. It's gonna select everything on that layer. Now you can select multiple ones or you can hit enter once you've selected the initial layer. Now select the target layer, the layer you would like to put all of these objects onto and remove that old layer. So we're going to select our main layer here called text and hit enter you can see all of the text has now been switched to the text layer and now it's taking on that red color the command is going to ask you if you want to confirm and continue uh, making sure that you're not going to regret deleting this old layer or merging these objects if it looks right to you simply type y and hit enter to complete the command now you've gotten rid of that one layer lay uh, text data one and cleaned up your drawing slightly more now, before we jump into the next tip, today's video is sponsored by Plex Earth. I've talked about Plex Earth a few times on the channel before, but if you're not familiar with it, Plex Earth is an AutoCAD and Civil 3D plugin that helps bring additional data and visualization into your project. This can include imagery, surface data, and integration with Google Earth. You can easily download and install the plugin from their website and unlock up-to-date imagery terrain, and visualization options instantly. With Plex Earth, you have the ability to import up-to-date satellite imagery from a variety of sources, including Google Earth, Airbus, Hexagon, Nearmap, and Maxar, along with others. Just a few clicks and you can select your image source, choose an area you'd like the imagery to cover, and have it inserted directly into your drawing as a background image. The image is automatically downloaded and geo-referenced within your drawing, creating a mosaic of high-resolution images in just a few minutes. Once your image is in the drawing, you also have options built in to process and clip images as needed to get the best results you're looking for in your drawing. One feature I really like is the ability to specify a corridor width and then have the imagery automatically populated along, say, an alignment of a new road design or some other area that you are working on. Not only does this save you time, but it will also help keep your drawing size in check by only using imagery relevant to your area of interest. Having up-to-date imagery can be a game changer for project design, especially in early phases where you may need to quickly design a concept that can be integrated and work with existing features of an area without the added costs of a full survey or getting imagery flown specifically for your project. If you'd like to learn more and try out Plex Earth, you can find the link in the description down below. And if you're one of the first five people to click the special offer link, you can get two months of Plex Earth Pro subscription completely free. As a special promotion for Cat Intentions viewers, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Again, that link is down below in the description. Thank you to Plex Earth for sponsoring today's video. Next up is the overkill command. I'm going to type that one in. It's over and then kill, K-I-L-L. -L. And you can see it's asking you to select objects. Now what overkill is going to do is find and delete duplicates or copies of objects that are completely on top of each other. Ones that you can't tell you have multiples of, but a lot of times you're gonna get these over the course of a design project. Sometimes it's by copying things too many times. Sometimes it's from exploding or drawing lines and then they get lost behind other lines that are no longer necessary. So overkill is gonna just help clean and tidy up your drawing and remove all those unnecessary duplicates. So 
I'll type in overkill and then I'll type enter. And then when it asks you to select objects, you can select with a crossing window, everything in your drawing. You can also type in all and hit enter to select all of the objects in your drawing. You can see in the command line, it's giving you stats, 195 objects were found, 62 are not in the current space. That means they are likely in your paper or layout spaces. You can hit enter to activate the dialog box. And from here, you can delete duplicate objects. You can select your tolerance. By default, it's very, very small, which basically means that it needs to be the exact same line on top of another line in the same location. Uh, you can also get it to ignore specific colors, layers, line types, depending on what you've selected. And then you can also choose some of the optimization options like optimize segments within polylines, looking for little broken pieces. Uh, you can combine collinear objects that partially overlap. That would be multiple lines that you probably meant to be a single line, but got broken up or exploded at some point. Uh, as well as objects that touch end to end, it'll join or combine those when possible. Hitting OK is going to go through your drawing and remove any of those duplicates. You can see down at the bottom that it found eight duplicates and three over overlapping objects that were all deleted. Now this isn't going to be a super noticeable uh, update or change to your drawing typically, but it is going to clean it up. It's going to reduce errors and issues later along and it's going to slightly reduce that drawing size especially if you have a ton of say extra blocks that got copied or accidentally left in the background somewhere or off in another area those duplicates are all going to get cleaned out easily and quickly with a single command all right so next up is probably one of my favorite and most used commands and that is the purge command purge is going to flush or purge your drawing of everything unused and unnecessary this would be blocks that were loaded in from your template by default layers that you loaded in by default from your template line types text styles all of that is going to get removed from your drawing and cleaned out so this is going to clean your drawing completely and this is something you want to do when you're near the end of a project or you're going to send a file out to say a client because it's going to get rid of everything that's not necessary to the objects and drawing you've created. So simply type in purge and hit enter. By default, you're going to be able to see all of the purgeable items. And these are objects that are unused. So say blocks that are unused, you can see there's a bunch of them here, light switches and furniture sometimes. Uh, you can see all of the layers that are unused. And these are just the default layers from my template. These have all been brought in and are going to get removed. You can also see, say, table styles that are unused, text styles that are unused. This can all be selected from the top here by just choosing this check mark. You can see everything is now checked on and it's going to remove everything that you don't need. You can also simply just click purge all, which will be the typical uh, option at the end of say a drawing cycle where you're going to send this out. Purging individual ones is also po possible. You can simply check on the ones you'd like to purge and click purge checked items. You can also uh, uncheck or check if you'd like to confirm each item to be purged. I'm going to uncheck that this time, but I am going to purge nested items. That would be, say, items in blocks inside of blocks and that kind of stuff. You can also purge and remove zero length geometry or orphan data. That would be stuff that would be connected to something that was deleted or removed. So I'm going to click purge all. You can see everything here was removed. I'm going to close it. And now when we open up our layer list, you can see that almost all of those layers have been removed. You can see the XREF layers are still there and any layer that has objects on it still is still in our drawing. Now, if you see any that are not supposed to be there or layers you wanna remove regardless, that kind of leads us into our next tip and Another great one to know, if you ever have a layer that you want to remove, you assumed or you did already delete everything off of it and you just want to delete that layer, but it's not letting you. Typically, that means there's an object somewhere that's using that layer. It may be being used in a block or a reference or something just way off the screen in model space that you can't find. So our next command then would be L-A-Y-D-E-L or layer delete 
lay del. This is going to force delete a specific layer or layers that you select regardless of what's on them. Now with this one you want to be careful since you can obviously delete drawing objects and things in your drawing that you may not want to remove. But if there is a layer, like if we hit my layer drop down here, I know I don't have anything on this A Anno grid layer that I care about or want in my drawing is probably just some lines somewhere in the background or off the screen. So I'm going to type in L-A-Y-D-E-L -E and hit enter and now it's going to ask you to select an object on the layer that you want to delete or by clicking the name option or hitting N and hitting enter you can now choose from your layer list. Now I know I want to remove this A Anno grid so I'm going to hit OK. This didn't get removed when we did the purge, so that means there is something on it stopping you from being able to remove it. I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to see that it is all objects on this layer or referencing this layer will also be deleted. Now this is a nice warning. You do want to be sure you want to delete this, but clicking delete is going to force delete that layer, and now you can see a anno uh, grid is now no longer in the drawing, cleaning it up one final step before our last tip and command, which we're going to take a look at now. So typically my last command when I'm cleaning up a drawing and getting it ready to send or just cleaning it up to save an archive is going to be the audit command. Now this is a command that's going to audit your entire drawing and the objects in it and check for any issues, errors, or inconsistencies that AutoCAD can find. And these could be things that could be causing slowdowns or issues or crashes. So it's great to audit your drawing every once in a while just to check to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Typically, if you've followed good practices and kept your drawing clean and not had too many issues, you shouldn't have too many errors come up. But typing in audit, A-U-D-I-T, and hitting enter is going to ask you if you'd like to fix any of the errors that it detects. You don't need to say yes, but I'm going to say yes typically so that it'll just fix these errors as it finds them. I'm going to hit enter, and you can see my drawing had no errors, so none had to be fixed. But many times you're going to run into multiple errors when you run this command. So I definitely recommend running an audit before you save and send out any DWG CAD files. That's all for today's video. I want to thank you for watching and remind you all to check out Plex Earth, today's sponsor. It's a great plugin, and if you're in need of imagery, terrain, or visualization updates and upgrades to AutoCAD, be sure to check them out. And remember, the first five to click that link down below are going to get a two month pro subscription for free. Again, that's Plex Earth, and you can check them out at the link in the description down below. Thanks and cheers.